students in this session i will explain question number 7 of exercise 9.1 it's very very interesting now rewrite in simplest form so there would be there are all together four sums in question number 7 i will show i will show you two sums and rest of the two sums would be your homework okay now how exactly this is done now you see the meaning of simplest form is to you have to reduce it now how to reduce it now you see these two numbers these two numbers are divisible by 2 so what you will do is that you will divide 2 to both the numerator and the denominator so you will get the answer as minus 8 divided by 2 is what minus 4 and if you divide 6 with 2 answer is 3 so this is the simplest form of minus 8 by 6 so you have to see that which is a number which will which can divide the numerator and the denominator okay so as because we cannot further because there is no number which divides 4 also and 3 also so we'll end our process here and this would be your final answer so this is the simplest form now let's see sum number 2 sum number 2 is what 25 and 45 now it's clearly you can say that these two numbers is divisible by 5 because the unit digit is 5 so what we'll do is 25 divided by 5 and also 45 divided by 5 so if you divide 25 by 5 what is the answer 5 and if you divide 45 divided by 5 the answer is 9 now you see these two numbers are different numbers because there is no such numbers which divides 5 as well as 9 also isn't it so when you are in this position this would be the only simplest form as because they common uh, they shares the only one factor which is one they do not share any other factor but in this case they were sharing um, the two factors that is one because this number uh, is divisible by one also and another number which is five but in this case they are only sharing a common factor as one so this would be our simplest form so simplest form is nothing when you see that both the numerator and the denominator if they shares the common factor as one only then only you will say that this is the simplest form of any rational number okay now i want to show you one more good example but it is not given in the book suppose uh, it is written 64 and uh, suppose 100 okay now let's let's write it properly now 64 and 100 so uh, the first thing that you will see that oh yes this uh, the unit digit that is unit digit is 4 and 0 so we know that these two numbers will be divisible by 2 isn't it so what we'll do is we'll divide this two number with 2 now if i'm dividing this the answer would be 32 and 50. now we, again you see that this number is again divisible by 2 so why not you just divide it by 2 again so it will be 16 by 25 you see you keep on dividing until unless you don't see that the numerator and the denominators are not sharing one as a only factor now we are in the position that you see 16 and 25 16 and 25 has no common factor rather than one only okay how to see this see number 16 if you do the private how i'm saying this that they are only sharing one as a common factor so this also i'm showing you so two eights are 16 2 4 is a 8, 2 2 is a 4, and 2 1 is a 2. Isn't it? Now, what is the factor of 16? See, 2 into 2 into 2 into 2 into 1. Now, what is the factor of 25? 5 into 5 into 1. You see, any any factors is there which is common other than 1? See, 1 is the only factors which is common between these two. So, th this is how I can decide that yes, this form, this rational number is the simplest form of 64 by 100 same goes for everyone okay i hope you have understood the simplest form now in question number seven sum number three and sum number four you have to do it on yourself okay thank you and take care